those chains are breaking, yeah I fear God, I don't fear death I see no strength and take a step Now, based on what we saw in the trailer, it looks like it's going to be a very intense film, just like the previous two films. Obviously, Creed is going to step back in the ring, and he's going to have a bigger challenge this time. And in this video, I basically want to break down what I saw in the trailer, and basically the way that I expect the film to play out with all of the characters, the new characters, the old characters. It's going to be a very interesting story, in my opinion. Now let's start with what's obvious, Ricky gets back out, Adonis fights him in the opening. That basically brings everything full circle with the way the very first Creed ended. We know that Adonis lost to Ricky, so I'm pretty much expecting him to win this time. Right after that win, he's obviously going to have a lot of, you know, press interviews, and I feel like somebody is going to step up and, you know, try to challenge him, someone better than Ricky, and that person is going to be Canelo, and I feel like it's, you know, like a great choice to have somebody from the real boxing world go up against Adonis and be on the big screen. That's something that I believe is going to be very interesting to see, and obviously, while that is happening, I believe that this is the moment when Dame pretty much resurfaces back into Adonis's life because now he's aware that he's still, you know, active when it comes to, you know, the boxing thing and that he has a huge fight coming up next and that he can pretty much, you know, put him on with a fight like that. And since we didn't really see a fight, you know, between Adonis and Canelo shown in the trailer, we could, you know, probably see that fight happen with Dame when he resurfaces because that would have been a huge, you know, power shot for Adonis when the trailer came out, you know, having him and Canelo fight together. But that wasn't in there, so they might be leaving that for Dame at the end of the day. They might be leaving that for Dame, you know, for his first big fight or just one of his fights, basically. But just based on, you know, what we saw in the trailer, he's not going to be a very easy fighter to go up against with. He's going to have, you know, a lot of, you know, anger within, you know, himself. And he's going to really take all that anger, you know, those years that he didn't really spend, you know, living a free life. Well, his friend basically, from his perspective, stole his life, the life that he was supposed to live. That whole thing is going to be, just based on what the trailer showed, that that's the thing that's going to drive Dame's character throughout this film, is sort of taking back that life that he feels was stolen from him, to the point where I feel like he's going to try to stain and create his legacy when he when Adonis tries to, you know, stop him from taking on more fights, to train him in a way where it's more safe for him to get in the ring. I feel like he's gonna, you know, try to tell the public that Creed is the person that told him to fight the way that he's fighting, which is why I believe that Adonis in the trailer was basically telling him and asking him if what he was telling him was a threat. Because just based on what they were talking about, I feel like he's gonna do everything possible for him to be, you know, the new phase of whatever Creed is running at the moment and sort of take that place that Creed is in. And obviously with that comes a lot of, you know, steps that he needs to take for him to take that, you know, huge title that Creed has. And I feel like he's going to take on the fighters, pretty much every fighter that Creed fought, and try to, you know, beat them one by one. And I feel like he could do it. But at the same time, the thing that is going to stop him is going to be Adonis at the end of the day. He's the one, like the only one that could basically confront him because he feels obligated to defend, you know, his legacy as, you know, always. And I feel like he's going to have no other option but to get into the ring with him. That's why I believe the movie's going to play out. He's sort of going to try to prove to Dame that he's better than nobody and that he's not better than him or his legacy that he spent seven years building. And I feel like that whole entire process, you know, just confronting Dame will be a huge character development for not only for him, 
but also for Dame's character because he's gonna learn that he's not, you know, like this this guy who's so dangerous or like so untouchable. And I feel like that right there is gonna be the entire message of the film. No matter how, you know, tough you think you are, there's always somebody who's tougher and that can take you down at the end of the day. I do not believe that they're gonna do the whole, you know, routine that we saw in Creed 2 where Adonis fought Drago, he lost in the middle of the movie, and then he fought Drago again in the final act, and then, you know, Drago lost. I feel like that's not gonna be, you know, the whole scenario for this movie. I feel like there's only gonna be one fight between Dame and Adonis, and it's basically gonna feel more powerful when we see that, you know, play out, because we're gonna be sort of, you know, just waiting on it throughout the entire film, so when it finally happens in the final act, it's gonna be sort of uh, like this refreshing thing that we've been waiting on for almost two hours while sitting in the theater, and I feel like this particular fight could actually go on for more than, you know, the limit, the like the amount of limited rounds. It, there could be a tie or something, but there's obviously gonna be a winner at the end of the day, and I feel like that person is gonna be Adonis. But again, this fight could go either way, which makes it pretty much more intense. This could be, you know, a film that just revolves around somebody taking what Adonis supposedly took from someone else. And then in Creed 4, we can see Adonis sort of taking that back. But I do not believe they're going to do that because they have the opportunity to make a great film showing, you know, this friendship sort of fall apart, but then rebuild towards the end of the film. So I feel like that's what the whole theme of the movie is going to be, like I said. Let me know your theories down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.